It's a beautiful spring day in early March and I've come back to our churchyard to get another look at our goat willow to see what's happening at this time of year. The one thing that really stands out and it's something that makes goat willow stand out across the British landscape are these flowers, the catkins. And of all our native willows, the goat willow is the first willow to come into flower. Let's get a closer look. On closer inspection, we can see these catkins are gray, ovular in shape, and they're covered with a soft downy fur, which is really nice to stroke. And you can remember that with your sense of touch as a way to identify the tree. It's these soft furry catkins which give the tree one of its other country names, and that's Pussy Willow, because these catkins are thought of as cat's paws. It also um, is used for grey willow as well, so goat or grey willow could be referred to as pussy willow. Now these catkins are male catkins. They tend to sit straight up close to the branch or they stand upright on the branch themselves as well. The male catkins and female catkins grow on separate trees with goat willow, so this tree is a boy. As the catkin matures, you'll notice a real change in colour. They go from grey to yellow, and also the anthers really pop out there, and they're covered in pollen here. And these are a great and vital food source for early um, pollinating insects, such as bees or hoverflies. So goat willow is a really important tree for wildlife as well. I've travelled across the border and all the way to Derbyshire to be able to track down the missing piece of our puzzle when it comes to the goat willow. We've seen the male and we've had a look at the catkins with their bright yellow pollen, but here is the female. These are the female catkins. Remember that the catkins appear on separate trees, male and female. We don't get them on the same tree. Looking closer at them, we can really see the difference between the male and female catkins. Whereas the males were yellow, laden with pollen, the females are green, much more elongated, and they have a spiky structure to them. They almost look like spiky caterpillars. I'll put a photo of them up side by side so you can see the difference between the male and female catkin. Later in the spring, usually around May, these female catkins are going to transform again as they turn into fluffy long seed heads which are going to spread the seeds of this goat willow via wind dispersal. And once those catkins are mature, those fluffy seed heads will float and dance around the tree and you'll see them in the air, it's really beautiful. And then the ground can be absolutely littered with all these fluffy seed heads below and around the willows. So look out for that because it's another distinctive feature. Well, that's all our identification for the goat willow in spring. We'll come back in the summer, get a really good look at the leaf.